Welcome to this uh, tutorial. Uh, it's a series of three tutorials uh, for helping you to use um, Spline and to um, uh, have some tips of modelization, modelization of optimization and um, how to create some materials. So in this part, I want to uh, recreate the fit of the, of the chair. Uh, which use boolean uh, for the whole the, the hole inside and uh, I want to create the material uh, of the of the of the chair so let's go uh, so as you can, uh, like I, I've, I've uh, told you, the fit is uh, using the boolean option uh, and he has two parts, uh, a cylinder that I have modified previously uh, and I, I will show you how and a cylinder which is not modified and which is not smooth and ed ed edited that I have um, like that to um, create the hole thanks to the boolean so let's recreate this part uh, if I check on the panel of the right I can see that the size of my uh, cylinder is uh, 17 to 7 and 0 and 17 so let's recreate a cylinder with this um, size I press shift to maintain the perfect uh, proportion the exact proportion and I can change the size here 17 to 70 and 17 also because we have we are in real time you have to really um, simplify the subdivision so here in, instead of uh, six, uh, uh, 64 I uh, will change to 8 to have less polygon ok, N now my um, object is uh, in the middle of nowhere but I want it very perfectly uh, in the center of my object uh, usually I don't have an object already done so I, I'm not doing that but here I just want to show you how to uh, position perfectly uh, compared to another, another object so what I do is putting my cylinder as a child, uh, child of my previous cylinder uh, just before that let's see the position it's like 40, uh, 10 and 10 so it's in the middle of nowhere and if I put my cylinder as a children of my other cylinder you can see that the position is changing um, why it's uh, why it's uh, transparent now it's because it's uh, inside the boolean so to show you I will remove the boolean so now my cylinder is uh, what? Oops. Yes. So now my cylinder that I just create is the uh, children of my other cylinder, uh, the foot, this one. Okay. And if I want uh, it really perfectly in the middle, I just have to uh, put the position in zero zero zero. And as you can see, my cylinder just changed position and put the center of the rotation perfectly uh, in the center of the my my parent. I would say my parent uh, cylinder. And now I just have to rotate a bit my my child. Okay, it, seem, it seem, seems to be like that. Uh, now, um, as you can see, 
uh, in those of feet, for example, uh, there is a little corner uh, on the top of the uh, of the in the end of the of the foot. So I can create this corner using corner, and I will add like two level of corn, and I will uh, rem uh, remove all the subdivision and I will just create two level of corner. Uh, if it's not really, uh, if uh, you don't understand what mean two level of corner, I will show you with wireframe. I'm not sure it's really helpful. Let's just create this one. I'm not sure it's going to be super... Uh, as you can see, there is a lot of subdivision if I uh, in increase the number of subdivision. But what I want in real time is the, lo the um, uh, less subdivision. So a level of 2 is correct. Okay, so let's put again here. Ah oui, and we remove the okay. So now I have uh, the corner on top, but I also have the corner on the bottom, and I don't want the corner of the bottom. As you can see, the other feet is very um, like that. So now I just have to smooth and edit my feet. Whoop, and I will change the rotation of all the, the point inside. Up. Okay, perfect. Uh, double check here, 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 okay. And I will uh, do like that because I don't want a, a round bottom. Okay. What I like also do, uh, to do is to double check, double click on uh, my line and slide a bit using the slide tool. Slide a bit so it's like, like that. Okay. Um, as you can see, because there is a f the other foot, uh, the other feet um, behind. Uh, the the middle of the feet is a bit uh, larger so i will double double click and i will add a sub line subdivision with using the loop cut um, tool and now i just will uh, using pressing shift so that it's proportional uh, just increase the the side of the middle. Okay, looking good. Now I will create this um, this cylinder. This one. So three. I will say twenty six. Three times six. Three. Three. I will create a new cylinder. Three. Oops, 26, 3. I will do the same as the other thing, the other cylinder. Putting my cylinder as a child of the other cylinder. Pressing 0, 0, 0. And now I just have to rotate a bit. It's more or less in the center of my feet. So I will remove this one. Uh, where is this one? Up. Up. Okay. Now I will use 
the bully, boolean option to, to, to create the hole. Not in this, but the correct. Um, <laughs> perfect. Okay, and now uh, we have to create the material. So to create a material, you have to. Uh, so to create the food uh, wood material, I will use a texture of wood. So. Um, I will remove the dev. I don't. Uh, oops. Ah, yes. Okay. Ah, yes. So uh, I will create a new uh, layer, cr uh, choosing an image, an image instead of color. And if I click on here, I have a selection of image, and I will use this one. Uh, as you can see, it's not at all correct. So what we have to do is to uh, select the projection as planar. Uh, it's still not correct, so I have to change the axis in uh, x, y, y. Okay, in y. Um, also, I like when the lighting is on top. And I like when the lighting in is lumber. Uh, and also, ha what I, I can do is changing a bit the color of um, my material uh, in the first layer. But if I, I want that uh, impact my real material, I have to um, use a sort of uh, overlay so that uh, it impacts the material. And now I just have to change the color to look like more or less the other. Okay, I will say like that. And ta-da! Don't forget to rename the foot. Uh, and also, to to create to finish to create the material you have to uh, click on the four dots here and uh, create cre uh, click on the cross to create material assets i will create a new one and create like new wood material mm. You can also change uh, after creating the hole uh, by clicking clicking on edit mesh and I'm not really satisfied it's not really the same here and here and I think it's because I I, um, I slight si slightly uh, reduce the size up like that and maybe increase like that It's not exactly exactly the same, but uh, it's the idea to how to create this. Uh, that's it. I hope uh, you liked it and uh, see you in the second tutorial.